Hello, artists. Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Um, this is uh, Lulu. Lovely Lulu. She got a coat of um, gloss varnish. And I just wanted to show you how pretty she ended up turning out. She needed a little bit more um, zhuzhing. Her colors were not as, as bright as I wanted them. And this one close, uh, I think I put it away. It's a, my varnish that I have is Liquitex Professional High Gloss Varnish. And I really like the um, final effect of her. She's gorgeous. So there's my Lulu Belle. Pretty girl. Okay, setting her aside though. Hello artists. Okay, um, I just got finished with doing the um, music emotion one. It's about 11.30. I was working on uploading the video, setting a date for this afternoon, so I have two hours to work. Um, so I've done two canvases. I already have, I think, like nine canvases, eight canvases for the show. So, um, you know, these boxes do quite well. I think that'd be kind of cool, and I'm out of pigs. So, uh, since this is a Christmas show, you know, it's mm, day after Thanksgiving, you know. This is a great box, too. Isn't that a gorgeous box? What a beautiful size. One, two, three. This one I already kind of started on. I think I hate the way I started on it, so I, I just keep setting it back up on my table. But it'd be kind of cool to have something that opens before it opens, huh? Isn't that a great box? I wonder if it says where. I got this at a garage sale for like $2. Anyway, okay. Thoughts. That's lots to think about, right? And uh, old Penny the pig. I've sold both my pigs again, and uh, which means it's time to make another one. Pigs in boxes. Okay. So what I'm just trying to do, of course, is create some variety. So if maybe somebody doesn't uh, want one thing, they will be interested in the next. Variety is the spice of life. Okay, um, question. Do I want to just cover these with uh, paper? Or do I want to do the tape? And I've done all of my pigs with paper, but I just got to thinking about a copper tape pig. Just as soon as I said the copper on here, like, Oh, wow. Wait, what if we did that? What if I covered him with crackle paste? Got that texture. I have a sand one, but that sand one would not be pleasant. Might be a big waste of tape. Oh, I think I'm going to work on the pig next. Because why not? All right, I got two hours to work. Got to make something cool. Something cool in two hours. What am I going to make cool in two hours? Oh, I got to show you guys something else that I've been working on for the last couple. Uh... Oh, Rosenbaum. Okay, so I'm looking for uh, corks that are all the same size. And the Ro Rosen, you know, if they're the same company, Whomever I got this um, thing of corks from, they really liked Rosenbaum wine. <laughs> it's just probably something cheap, but uh, but maybe not. Heck, I don't know. I don't drink wine because my stomach hates it. I hates it. I get so sick off of it. See how much longer that one is. We don't want that one.
We have a lot of Charlie Shaw in here, which is, of course, uh, Two Buck Chuck at Trader Joe's. So, could likely be that it, the Rosenbaum is cheap. So. You probably didn't need to watch any of that, right? The problem is when I go to edit and, and I have to sit there and, and take out all those parts, it takes a lot of time to edit. A lot. A lot of time to edit. You don't realize. <laughs> you know, if it takes me three hours to watch a project, I have to watch myself recreate it for three hours in order to do the video. Not, not complaining, just stating facts. Let's see how this works. Might not work with the plastic here. Does this stuff work with plastic? Uh, okay. Let's take out this guy. This is usually a very large amount of work to get these things on here even and correct. But then we'll just let them dry. Maybe this will work better. Can't remember what glue I've used in the past. But this Fabri-Tac, I like it. I could cover them with fabric. Mishiwa pig. A fabric piggy bank? How would that work? I think I should try it for these legs though. Mishiwa pig. Okay. Oh, let's get rid of that. Oh, well, I would get rid of the ugly fabric, but as soon as I do that, then I'll go, oh, well, I should have used cool fabric on that because. That looks gross, but I'd love to have kept it like that, you know. Sometimes you have to not uh, be afraid of getting rid of ugly stuff too, right? Sometimes you think, oh, I'll keep it, you know, I might use it someday. And then you just have this ugly stuff that you'll never use laying around your house and it clutters. Mm, so maybe we just need to learn how to let go of stuff like that. Right? That's kind of cool. This will give it a cool texture. I don't know why my heater isn't warmer than what it is. I've had it running now for a couple hours, it feels like. Maybe I haven't. But it just doesn't seem to get any warmer in here. Of course, in California, we have all single pane windows for the most part. So. There is that issue. And we'll go back with Mod Podge over the top of that, of course. sticky stuff. I like that. I'm just leaving that a little bit random like that. It's cool.
This one's got to have like some hippie name. I just sold Marge uh, at the show at the office. She was my last one. Let's see. What was the name of the other guy? Sold him in Lafayette. That was pretty cool. The woman was buying it for their for her granddaughter. She took the one that was more rock and roll looking. Okay. Alright. Okay. We're gonna set this to dry. I'm gonna pull out a couple of these. And then we're gonna set this in there. shouldn't probably be a waitress then if you have no strength. All right. I like my little box. Let's do something with the bag. Okay. I could try to cover him with fabric. He might be kind of cool with fabric. Should I just try for one kind of fabric? Or a Mod Podge of fabrics. Darker on the bottom. Oh, some of these are so hard to get open. Again, my hands are very weak right now. Of course, these are old. I'm sure these are probably, these pigs are from the 80s. Most likely in the 90s with left over from work. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, oh, I did go and buy a whole bunch of fabric because I want to make, start making things for myself. I do actually want to make some clothes. I want to try that. Uh, what do we got here? Little bits and pieces of this and that. This would be kind of cool. I just like that one. This, this would be doable. I like that blue. This, this is the ugly piece that I don't ever want to use in anything. It reminds me of my shirt. It reminds me of a bad 80s cowboy shirt. And that's not a good thing to be reminded of. You know, I have a bunch of squares. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Seriously, I have I have little squares all cut up, ready to use. Oh, well, looky here, folks. Good God. Told you. As soon as I decided something else to use, I would find these. Now, I'm not much of a fan of this um, method. It would be nice to use these up and get them out of my way. I don't love all the colors that I have left there. This guy's kind of fun though. This would be kind of the, the checker one. I'll put those three together. Christmas. But then again, if it doesn't sell, I don't want it to be stuck just for Christmas either. So this is trying something new. I would put that in my journal. What did I try new today? Well, I tried to cover a pig with fabric. That's what I did new today. What did you do new today? Uh... Covered a pig in fabric. 
quite a few pieces of that. And a few pieces of that. This guy here. And we got this guy there. A piece of paper that didn't get back into the right spot, of course. Some grays and some blacks. We're not going to use a lot of gray. No, I'm not going to do that. All right, I got plenty of pieces of that. And enough of that. Get rid of those. I hate the fabric. So I use something that I hate just because it's there and you think you need to use it. You know, I've got enough other stuff that I really like. So I don't have to use the stuff that I hate. Catching the drift, man. That's so pretty. Make pretty skirt, wouldn't it? Okay. Coffee. I don't think I've had a full cup today yet. What time is it? 6.15. Okay. So, as you know, I've already taken the time to glue on the cork legs on this little corker. Corker? Corker. <laughs> you, you have a little porker? You have a little porker? Not, not being mean. Uh, can you imagine Porky the pig? Not real PC now, is it? Okay. Um, so, switched out. Okay. Mod Hodge. Another opportunity for somebody to say, is that decoupage? No. No, it's not. You're getting a cool pig covered in fabric. If you don't want it, move on. It's gonna be my new attitude. Don't question me about the prices. Okay, hmm. You can pick up a scissors. <laughs> I don't think that's that old of one. Where's my old scissors? I have them sitting out here all the time. And now they're all put away. Just goes bigger, doesn't it? So I'm not worried too much about the holes. Um, I will go back and those. Cut them out after it's done. I think her name should be Lulu. She just told me her name was Lulu. She did. Lulu the pig. I don't know why. That's what she just said. She just said her name was Lulu. This kind of looks like something fancy that Lulu would wear, wouldn't it? You yeah. know, little Harlequin pattern. A little belly covered in Harlequin. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know if it's Harlequin. What is it? What is it? What pattern is this? I don't know. Okay, so here's my biggest concern. My biggest concern is, will the Mod Podge stick to the plastic? It sticks to the plastic very well with the newsprint or the um, ephemera. So, I'm hoping that it will also work well for this.
Thank you.
morning. Hello, you amazing artists. How are you today? Thanks so much for coming back and hanging out at my table with me, having my morning coffee. Um, I first woke up at five o'clock and I just kind of pushed myself to stay awake. I probably could have fallen back to sleep, but it's a show week. Cheers, first cup of coffee. Mm, nice and steamy. I hope you're having a good morning. Oh, that's hot. Hmm. So, um, Lulu, Lulu the pig, where we left off, got her all uh, covered up there. See how pretty she is? Now we need to, um, vintage it because frankly, it's very bright. And now the colors actually do work together pretty well. Um, I'm really happy about the color choices. I think that they worked stunningly together. I'm just trying to put these um, images away real fast so that I don't have them sitting out here. <sighs> I was working on um, editing the video for the copper box last night. And frankly, I was also working on stuff for work. Uh, so. <sighs> and that's, you know, again, super stressful. And um, when I'm overstressed, the creativity just tanks. Tanks. Now, choices. Choices. I realize I have all these empty um, containers all over the place. This is a... can't remember what this was for. Oh, Fiskars. Oh, it must have been for the punches. But I like to have little trays around um, for different reasons. But then I realized that my whole desk is covered with um, little bowls, trays. Okay, no wonder I don't have any space. <laughs> okay, so we've got... That's um, tarnished brass to stress the Distress spray thing. God. We're gonna put a little bit of fired brick in there since it's my favorite color of the spray stains. And this makes a really pretty copper color. Should being the keyword. And oh wait, we have a little bit of this. Oh, a very small touch of this sunshine yellow. Pure sunshine dilutions shimmer spray. These things are cool. If you guys get the chance to use these, use these. Trying to keep the BB from popping out. I do. I, I would like to get another set of these guys. I use them quite, quite happily. Okay, so as you can tell, I have chosen a color scheme. A nice vintage color scheme. Makes me wonder if I should add the brown to it. I know we have this little touch of uh, walnut stain in here. Let's just take it down a notch. I know, I know. We're going to take all that pretty color out of there, aren't we? But it's too bright. This is too bright for me. Um, you guys should know that. It's way too bright for me. I'm trying to find a paintbrush that didn't have black gesso on it because uh, black gesso would not fit. Okay. Let's try it on the bottom first. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Ooh, it's dark. This stuff always looks a little bit darker. See, now that it's soaking in, it, it's not nearly as bad as it seems, but it will unify all the colors. And I don't necessarily want a, you know, a, a funky monkey uh, 70s pig. I want a cool vintage 19, 1890s pig. Right? 
a little steampunky pig. I want to, oh, I could put gears on her for eyes. So yeah, it's nerve wracking. I, I get it. It's nerve wracking to put this stuff on there. Ooh, is that the correct choice for Lulu? But I think it is. I mean, look at this great color she's getting right here. So you could easily like what coffee dye this. That would work. Let's make sure we're getting all those beautiful colors under there. Look at that. Colors. Love it. Oh, yeah, it has much more shimmer on it when you do it that way, too. I did cut out the holes without you guys. I just took my X Acto blade and cut them out. Lulu, you were a pretty girl, but now you're going to be spectacular. You are. You, really, you are a very pretty girl. Yes, you are. Give you a beautiful bronze face. Mm. So again, uh, part of this is knowing your products that you use. Um, I had a feeling that this is how this would look. I, I didn't know exactly, of course. But this was my intention with Miss Lulu all along. I will take my inks over the top of these, most likely. And bring out all the little ridges. I want to make sure she's nice and glittery up top. I really want to get into this glitter that's on the bottom. Or mica or whatever it is. She's such an adorable pig. So coloring probably wasn't that important to keep track of. And on the other hand, I'm glad I did because, you know, it just feels more right when I'm making her for one. And the colors, you know, if you have the same tones, it's just going to look better. You know, you're like, oh, you can't tell. I'm like, well, you can't really truly tell, but you can kind of tell that those were reds under there. I'm going to bring up her eyes here just a little bit, see if I can't lift up some of the stain. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Let's do more of that. Remember, guys, I haven't done it this way before. I don't know what I'm doing. I generally do it with paper. Oh, beautiful, Lulu. Good girl. Oh, you're just so gorgeous. Pieces stuck in her still. Let's come out somewhere. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 
There's my Lulu pig. You know, the stain does take to different places differently. So like here, it went in deeper. That's expected. It's gonna happen. Lulu Bell. Lulu Bell. Mm -hmm. Lulu Bella. Uh-huh. You're so beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do to make you even more beautiful? Mm -hmm. I know. I know it's not. I know it's not. Gotta use it. Okay, so this is not uh, water. This this can be disintegrated by water. Oh, but look at how gorgeous it is. And I don't know. I should probably wait for it to dry before I do this. It's probably good for neither my ink pad or the pig. Oh, it'll shine a butt. Oh, Lulu, you're gorgeous. I decided I don't like strings really hanging all over the place. If you like strings, please leave your strings in. I just don't like them as much. So I'm going to go under her underbelly uh, one more time. And that is just trying to create some shading. Okay. It's just me being the fine artist in me, you know. I have to create depth as much as possible. You do have to create depth as much as possible. Huh. Hi, sweet talk. I know, I'm talking baby talk to a pink. Oh, hey, there's that piece. Oh. Come on out. I'm not going to come out. Got it. It was the piece that I had cut off right here. Okay, she is quite, quite beautiful. Now, most likely what I can do, if I want to even try to bring it up even more, because there's just a little bit of water in there. That's a worthy process there. A little bit more water. My Kleenex. Paper towel. Oh, look at how that red shows up. It really does show up beautifully. So see, it does make a difference if you keep everything in your same color tone. I know that I just put this all on there, but look what it's doing when I take some of it off. And that's worth it, right there. 
worth the extra step, folks. Do not cheat your piece of art by being timid or lazy. I would have never known that this would have worked without putting this on there. And yes, it was it was nervous. It caused me to be nervous to do it. I had fear. So I started down here. You know, start someplace that you can cover up easily if you don't like it. I wasn't worried about never being able to bring the piece back to being a place where I liked it. I knew that that was able to do. People wonder why my hands are so dry. At least because I constantly have to wash them. I'm not drinking any coffee. Mm, you can wash your little bum off. Wash your little face, eh? I do bond with these um, pigs. I, bo I bond with all of my work, though. I really do. Um, if I'm not bonding with it or, uh, you know, feeling a personal investment in it, then it's not worth doing, honestly. We're going to leave that just like that, a little bit tattered there, because that will pick up that ink. I just don't like those super long strings. I like the tattered fringes. I think that's a pretty girl. And she does still have some glitter in her. I wanted to make sure that she had a shimmer, um, which is why I put all this, the, the, the brass and the uh, spray. Speaking of the spray... I wonder if I have any of that. Hmm. Here it is. I know that this one doesn't work either. Oh, hold on. It does. Ooh. Not a nice spot. Lulu. Lulu. It was Lulu, not Lola. No, it's a big blotch right there. I see it. I see it. And it does take down that there was a rose in there. Hmm, do I wanna do I wanna bring it back up just a touch? This color when it dries is really gorgeous. Which is part of why I don't want to pull it all off of there because I know the product and the product works. It's a little butt. <laughs> I keep talking baby butt talk to the pig. <laughs> I understand this. I'm a grown woman talking to a piece of artwork like it's a baby. Oh, well. We already know I'm certifiable. We already know that. There we go. Just a little touch of here and there. We don't need to see all of the fabric underneath, you know. I'm okay with, with what's showing. You know, it's it's really pretty. Is that decoupage? Mm. <laughs> I did something like that when I was in fourth grade. Sure you did. Oh, I do stuff like that all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, you should see what my mom makes. She makes some really cool stuff. Mm. Nice. It's starting to get warm again. Wake up and the place is 40 degrees or 30. I think it got down to 38 last night. So I have to turn on the heater because I don't leave the heater running all night. Let's have a nice warm comforter. So you see what I'm doing here, guys? I am accentuating pieces of fabric. And of course, here, a little nose.
The smoke was really bad yesterday. And again, my thoughts go out to everybody who's affected by these fires and the natural disasters. They are up north of me. Lulu or Lola? I think Lulu is better, right? I think Lulu is what I had said before. Because Lola would be like, Hello, Lola. La 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 Lola. Okay, how does that song start? Oh, love that little bit of. I know, I covered up the rose finally. See if I can bring that up a little bit. It's cool that that piece is put on there the way that I did that face piece here because it's really accentuating her little nose. Oh gosh, I'll get it here in a second, guys. I keep thinking of that song. Girls will be boys and boys will be girls. It's a mixed up, shaken up, shook up world. Where's my own? <laughs> Such a bizarre song, you know. Think about the words. Ooh. That must have been an interesting date. I haven't heard that song for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. So we just adjust and readjust until she feels like she's right. And I think she's pretty close to right. Um, I might go through when she's dry again. And I think I have another stays on as I put my hand right in it. Um, and this one is much juicier. It's the purple. Yeah. I don't really want to use black on this. The purple will be a complimentary, nice dark. Edition. It's okay. Just don't go crazy with it because you will notice. If this gets put on wrong, then you just go through with your alcohol. Fix it. So next time, I will leave more fringes, less strings. I will make sure those fringes kind of stand up just a little bit more. You guys know that I paint with my ink pads a lot. I do a lot of edging and trimming, so I'm very used to using them in this manner. If you're not, I would suggest probably using your daubers or whatever. So you can do this to anything that you want to. It doesn't have to be a piggy bank. If you have something sitting around your house, it's kind of a plastic toy. Wouldn't this be cool with like a a doll face or what else could we do this to fruit plastic fruit sitting around and I might just 
just go get some of my this um this stays on metallic um that's solvent ink now this has a little squeezy bottle to it problem with the squeezy bottle well i'm supposed, I'm supposed to shake this puppy up i'm sure i am Oh, much better. See the difference? Okay. So, here's what I'm afraid of right off the bat. So, okay, we're going to fix that. Who wants a little piece of white lace anyways? Let's just kind of mush it around. I mean, probably just took off all the ink. It's truly the fires. Everybody here has allergies going on and things like that. I like it. I know I'm, I lost the rose up there. I'm a little sad about that. Let's see if I can get just a little bit more of that back. I just put ink on it again, so. No, this is kind of getting kind of muddy now. The one thing I could do with the alcohol, I don't think I need to do this. I'm being obsessive. I'm kind of letting it run down the side a little too here. There it is. We don't want to start melting the glue underneath. That would be horrible. This needs to be re-glued down. It was a cut that I had made. That wasn't correct. I better not be getting alcohol in my coffee. You, know, you just never know what happens until you do it. Because I want all the ink to go to the edges. I really do want it to puddle up at the edges. Look what it's doing. I could have been done with this a while back. Ugh, very sticky now. I'm gonna have to stop playing with it in just a second. Just a second. This is straight uh, 99 isopropyl alcohol.
beautiful. I'm doing it because it really does bring out um, in a very cool way. fabric and the pattern underneath. I think I'm just dissolving some of the ink. Who knows where it's going? Maybe it's soaking in some of the glittery stuff, maybe. Lily, you're beautiful. I'm gonna pop out this little piece of red here too. She's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna quit messing with her. Um, I'll let her dry and get unsticky. And then I'll go through mm, maybe the stabilo. Ooh. Maybe the brown stabilo? I want to accentuate these little pieces. Gelato. See this ink pad there? I don't like what happened with the ink pad that much right there. It's okay. I mean, it gives her character. I just don't want it all over the place. At all. I actually love how this looks. And... <sighs> Steffi, you gotta quit being so fussy. Okay, um, I know it's your weight a bottle in here. I really don't want to waste all of this ink that's left in here. Now, just be sure to remind me that it's not yellow if I go to use this yellow.
your gold. That can be definitely used for something else. <laughs> I know, I just put it on there. Oh god. Oh gosh. Sorry, baby. I'll do it to one side, you gotta do it to the other. I know. I'm well aware I am crazy. But it generally works out to my advantage because I'm not afraid to just dump alcohol all over something that I just made. Uh, but it's beautiful. And she stinks. Dinky girl now. there and fester too much. Probably not a great thing for the Mod Podge. Very sticky. I'm going to set her aside. I have to set her aside now. Can you hear that? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll come back with another project. She's almost done. I'll have to um, fit her little guys in there and maybe some dots. Maybe. Um, I think her face is pretty well defined. Maybe I will increase the shadows or I think actually I think she's pretty cool just like she kind of rocks it. There's really not a wrong way to use this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Worth it. Some little spotties. Now, does she need freckles? No. Sticky. 
I know I keep doing it and then like taking it off and then doing it and then taking it off and doing it and taking it off. Yeah, but I guess that's my process so until I'm super happy with it. I just kind of keep going. I stop when I think I can't make it any better, I guess. Huh? Those papers would be good for something, wouldn't they? Mm. Well, I guess I'll let those dry. You know, the thing that I find hard about using, you know, pieces of paper towel like this is that they just kind of end up looking like dirty globs of glick on the, in the backgrounds. girl where am I gonna set you <laughs> hmm I'm gonna, I'm gonna hum. all right guys um I will be back shortly with another project thanks so much for watching if I do decide to do more finishing touches to um, Lulu I will bring you back okay What did I do to her nose? Why is her nose so dark? It's all that bronze. We don't want her to have an ugly nose. Let's see if we can pull back a little bit of the uh, fabric. Probably not because it has ink and ink and ink and ink over it, including the permanent ink in gold and purple and brown. She's pretty cute, though. I do wish it didn't have all the spots. Now I'm just being hyper picky. That's what's new. I'm always hyper picky, aren't I? Always hyper picky. Good morning, my beautiful artists. Okay, I'm back again. She has mostly dried. This one piece is so shiny and beautiful. Should we see if we can get the second red to come out? It's kind of a little weird looking piece, but uh, I wanted her to have red rosy cheeks. I don't think I was planning to work on the pig anymore, was I? I, I was going to put her away. Uh,
I know I'm obsessed about that little rose back there and her little flower back there on the back. It's okay. You don't have to be obsessed. Right? If I wasn't obsessed about the circus tent, it wouldn't have turned out the way that it did. If I was okay with just halfway, a lot of my art wouldn't look the way it does. So. Okay. It's a beautiful girl. She has a really gorgeous coloring to her. It's very, um, this is a mahogany, the way that red came out. It's really, really beautiful. I love her little tartan socks. Somebody will love that part. Let's make sure they can see them. It's too bad I did not take that tartan, tartan, tartan all the way around. That would have been cool. A little Scottish piggy bank. Lulu. You might be asking, why are you going through and doing this again? Well, because I find that it's bringing up more of the fabric. And I like that. So you just put all that stuff on it. Well, yeah. It's called layers, people. Fine tune it until it's perfect for you. Okay. I'm gonna have to find my slippers again. My feet are getting cold. I haven't seen anything like it. Have you seen anything like it? I have not seen a single thing even remotely similar to this. I love that. That is my goal as an artist, is to not be making stuff that other people make. Or, if I do make stuff that other people make, to make it be mine, or to make it be interesting, or change it up. All right. Okay, so these always have a very hard time going back on. Always, always, always. So, we're going to cut down this side. And I know you're going to go, what are you doing? But you have to. In order to make this fit on there properly. And that was a pretty good first attempt. That worked just right. People may complain about it later, uh, but that's just too bad. So here, see how it's really tight on the leg also? And here. So we just have kind of one corner we have to worry about. And we'll just do this. There. Perfect. See? You? Now, the final question is, does she need anything else? If so, what would it be? Okay, so this is less harsh of a color. Watch how lightly I'm hitting that, okay? And I am truly just trying to hit the raised portions to give her a little bit more definition. Uh, I do like to use archival ink whenever possible. You guys should know that about me. Anybody think I'm going to spill my coffee? Oh, All right, I'm working like this. Steffi, you don't have to work like that. Just move it out of the way. Yeah, 
definitely want red on there. That color is very dead. That darker color. I think that was the purple. See, it went very, very dead. So what's happening is I'm actually kind of burnishing this and bringing it to almost a polish. Look, it's right in here. It's a really interesting color. I don't really know how I get it, but I love it. Let's not pull that all the way off. Let's get that cut. Do a little surgery. It's okay, baby girl. We'll get you fixed up there. We had one other spot we needed to glue also. Actually makes me wonder if I can't take a um, coat of Mod Podge over this. to see what would happen. Hopefully it won't dull it and it will make it shinier. It's a light coat. But look at what the texture is. It's created by it. beautiful. It's like a, a leather type feel look and I am pushing it down in there. Lola you're so much work. You're so high maintenance girl. Not Lolo. Lulu. I have the kinks song stuck in my head. And a friend of mine has her dog's name, Lola. So that's kind of in my brain there. Look what happens when I burnish that, though. Looks like leather. Wow. It makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. Okay. It dries clear. It will dry clear. It will. No more uh, working on the. Uh, you know the painting is done. Obviously.
I don't know if I have to rub it in so hard, but it's working. So that's kind of all I'm uh, concerned about. If it works, keep doing it. Now I've definitely gone over my time limit with this. It's very hard to make a profit when you take too long to make something. Considering this has been two mornings in a row, both mornings I started fairly early. I would assume I've probably got four hours into her, at least. Probably more. If I would have had to cut up all that paper, or fabric and get the pig and you know, buy the inks and a lot of ink in here that's for sure a lot of Mod Podge that decoupage I will just shoot the first person that says that I'll just say <laughs> no <laughs> and just like that <laughs> no Think you can do that with Mod Podge? You go for it, buddy. You get your fabric to look like that. Hey, take a I dare try this Abilo. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Now, since I have the Mod Podge over it, I have uh, the ability to go back and just, you know, dunk <laughs> the pig if I don't like how the Stabilo turns out. It's not like I want a ton of this. I don't want her to look dirty, but I do want to have these accented. These bits and pieces and parts. do it on all of it. That's for sure. That's my time. Let's 
still see a seven there. We're good. Watch it. <laughs> oh, Lulu, you're beautiful. She looks much different from my other pigs, but she is, she's beautiful. Just the lightest touch on these. Trying not to go too heavy. Nice. Mm, smile. Let's make her smile. Looks like she like those little spots. Let's see. I know I got a stubby in here. What? I do want her little eyes accentuated. Her little eyebrow. That somehow got made in there. We got that on this side too. Oh, I did so good with those. Didn't even know they were there.
Okay. Now I want to go through and take some sparkle. <laughs> um, but I think my final touch, as I keep saying final touch, I just want to hit it one last time with this permanent ink just to give her as much shine as I can. Oh, the pad's starting to come off. Ink pad starting to disintegrate. Give her a little butt some shape. Some glitter. No face. Little head. So I've created highlights and lowlights. That's what I've attempted to create. I think I've done a pretty successful job of that. You know, my other ones I've put a lot of dots on. I just don't think that she needs dots. I think she's beautiful just like that. Okay, guys. Is it eight? Not yet. Let's do one more splotch right in here. See if I can't get a little bit more of this ink in there. Right up there. Perfect. Stunning. You're a pretty girl. Okay, so now then I've got to figure out who went where. Well, this guy's went there. And she's sticky. My hands are sticky. Come on, baby, go in. Super gorge. That's not showing up at all. Okay, we won't do it that way. You do it to one, you gotta do it to all. Remember? And again, if I didn't like how it looked, I wouldn't keep doing it. So I'm obviously enjoying this effect that this pen is giving me. I think it suits the pig very well. My spinner is so full. It's not spinning. I think that's the 
same color that we did it with. I'll get a bit more gold. Yeah, same color. Always looking for ways to make better, aren't I? can't have highlights without making low lights. So I'm just kind of accentuating the shadows. Even though my Stabilo just did it. Stabilo has a tendency to sometimes be a little dead. And this will add just a little bit more color into it, as we already know. I'm not going to stop if I can still make it better. Here's my girl. I think she's done.
Part of me wonders what would happen if I squirted her with water again. <laughs> People are not going to know what this material is. Maybe they will. See, it has little dots on this side. Those are in the plastic. They just came out. We'll talk later. Love ya. Bye. Have a great day, everybody. Sorry, that water's in the way of most of this filming, isn't it? Sorry about that. Oh, cute what?